Hi, it's Wolf's Dominic Castle.com, and here in YouTube, Naomi's Epic Fantasy. Wow, that was fast. Um, this is a video about automating the foam dragon, and I'll show you a little bit about that. And I'm, I'm, in this video, I'll show you how I did it, and we'll also take a look at the automation as it works. Um, there are a few things I did here. I sculpted a jaw to put on the dragon so that could open and close. I added some teeth to them to make them more impressive, and um, I added lights for the eyes. And uh, I added uh, smoke effects. So the eyes light up, the jaw opens and closes, and smoke comes out of his mouth. So it's kind of cool. We will cut into, um, how, I'll show you real quick that in, the, in action, all that working, and then we'll cut into how I did it. Uh, thanks for watching my videos. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always got interesting and creative stuff going on. Uh, so I very much appreciate it. Um, Thank you very much. Let's launch into the intro and then we'll do how to automate your dragon. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and treasure chase, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, let's unlock this project. Okay, first the eyes. Then the jaw. And then the smoke. And I only did a little bit of smoke because the house was filling up with smoke. That smoke uh, fog generator puts out a lot of smoke. So let's get into how I made this. And the dragon was sculpted like that, and I wanted to add a jaw to it, so I just used the same insulating material. That's called Fomular. And for this is a matter of getting the right shape. I wanted plenty of room in this for the hose, for the smoke, and for the teeth. And then I carved it out with a rasp. It's almost all rasp work. And you can see it's three layers thick. Looks good. But it's a matter of making it big and then carving it down to the right size. See? And then put the details on it, and it's just about ready. So to get that dragon skin effect, it's st first paint it with black. It's a base coat, so a little bit of the black shows through. I later I'll dry brush it in green, and I don't show you that. Now it pivots on the dragon with a dowel as a, acts as a hinge. Now let's take a look at how I work that thing. That is a servo from an RC airplane and a servo controller. And it's got a little bit of, of uh, oomph to it. It's a pretty strong little servo. I cut, out a, I cut out a hole in the dragon's jaw and mounted that servo right in there. And you'll see how that works in a second. I'll actually show you that. It actually pulls, the weight of the jaw holds it down, and then it actually pulls itself up like this. Here, we'll do it, we'll cycle it a few times. See? So as that servo turns, it, picks, it pulls up. Kind of neat. I actually tried several different configurations to try, try to get it right until I came on this one, which is, works pretty good. You only need about an inch of throw there at the jawline to give you a nice wide swing opening of the mouth. So let's look at it one more time. That looks good. So now I, the fog generator, I tested it first with a piece of garden hose to see if it would actually work, and it does. It works pretty good. Yeah, perfect. So the garden hose mounts up like this along the profile of the dragon and then goes through the jaw so the smoke comes out of his mouth. And we need a little bit of room for it so I carved out the jaw a little bit. The hose goes right in there. And it mounts up like this. And then the jaw goes, covers that. Now let's add some teeth. And I had to work the jaw up and down a lot to get, make sure the teeth didn't crush themselves. Looks good, nice set of teeth there. Paint them up.
Looks good. Now the eyes light up, so I used um, Christmas tree lamps. I hot glued them in place. See? Like that. And the nice thing about these is you can work them off a variable voltage. They use the little power supply. It looks good. And I put um, colored plastic lenses over them to make like an eyeball effect. So from here it's a matter of wiring them in, wiring everything in, running the wires. I ran all the wires for the servo and for the eyeballs along the garden hose for the smoke. And that's pretty much it. Take one last look and we'll see the automation one more time. The dragon is complete, oh, except for a little bit of paint on the eyeballs. So there we go, eyes. Draw and smoke. Uh, thanks for watching. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always get lots of fun, creative, and interesting projects. Here's a, something else to look at. On the top there is a closer look at the dragon and how it comes apart to fit through doorways. And on the bottom is forging a knife that's a karambit. Thank you.